Hi, welcome to Artisan Quick Tips with Jennifer. I'm Jennifer Wise. I'm going to show you how to use um, a neat feature in Artisan digital scrapbooking software called Fill. You can fill a selected shape with the, with a, the pattern of a paper. It's very cool and very interesting. Um, if you are new to Artisan, I wanna share a few quick um, fast facts with you. Um, I don't want to take the time to go through it uh, for people who are not new to Artisan. So if you are new, go ahead and pause this recording, um, read over it, and then come back. You will see down at the bottom my website where you can buy Artisan um, digital scrapbooking software and digital art too, if you like. And um, also my email, you're welcome to shoot me questions about Artisan or anything related to um, photo and story treasures, uh, memory keeping of any, of any kind. So, okay. Uh, Phil, I have some fun stuff to show you about Phil. Okay. So I'm going to show you two, two different things. One way that you can use, um, this fill feature is in a template where you get sort of a design that isn't, um, well, it is intended for you to do whatever you want to it. So if you want it to be gray, that's fine. But if you want to adjust all of those gray areas, you can do that too. Um, you can see I did that over on this next page. This is my practice um, book over here. This is not something I'm going to print. <laughs> this is something that I have um, used to play with Artisan and all the things that you can do in it. Oh, whoops, sorry. I was gonna show you this. So you can see that I put some paper here and I changed the color of some of these things and added um, a little item. But anyway, you can use fill on um, a template like this. So let me show you how you might do that. I picked a couple of random pictures that look nice and cozy here. So what I'm going to do is change, I'm gonna come over here to content. I'm going to change this gray arrow to something a little more interesting. And I like this little paper in a collection called Winter Days Comfy Cozy that looks like a sweater. I think it looks like a sweater. It's not particularly the colors that are in the photos here, but we're going to use it anyway. Okay. Um, so what you do is you select whatever the item is that you want to change the color of or change the pattern of. And then you come and find a paper. I picked this one. I'm going to mouse over this little, the little black triangle, push or click the uh, arrow. And then I'm going to click fill selected shape. So what happens is the shape on my paper that I've selected here is going to get filled with this paper that I've selected on the right. So fill selected shape. First, it's going to ask me, now what part of this paper do you want to use? It's going to give me a size, a, a rectangle here that fits that arrow that I had, that I'm trying to fill, okay? So I can make it bigger or smaller. If I just want it to say like, oh look, there's a little like snowflake and say comfy cozy, then I'll click okay. And look at that, look how cute that is. I can also move it around a little bit. So let's try a different um, part of this paper and make it a little bigger. What if we come up here to comfy, cozy, and we do some hearts like this and just move it around a little bit and click OK. Aha, see, so it's kind of cool because you can play with various um, parts of the paper that you're putting in there as well as um, you know, just filling the shape. Now, of course, if I wanted it to be just this brown, fill selected shape, I don't really care. It's just a brown paper. I don't have to move it at all, right? It's got a little bit of a pattern to it, but it's kind of all the same. So, okay, so that's one way that you can fill or one thing that you can do with fill. I'll save my paper or my page because I like it. Now I'm going to show you a different page here. I, I went and got some um, other embellishments and, and shapes. And I want to show you how it works uh, this way. So let's say that I want to, um, well, let's look at this paper. I'm going to 
preview it here. Oh, that's pretty. Okay, let's try that. Um, on this doily, I'm going to, I just want to change it to not be just a solid red. Okay, so let's look at fill selected shape here. Oh, what if, what if we make it like as big as we can? What if we put all of that in there? How does that look? Ooh, that's cool. I can undo it if I don't like it. There's an undo button right up here. Let's see where my mouse is. Undo. I like that. That's cool. That's pretty. Um, so now let's change it maybe to this. We'll make it bigger as well. Okay, so the, the interesting thing about this particular element, this doily, is that it has little holes in there. So you can see, um, let me change it so you can see it a little bit better. So you can see that it didn't fill every, you know, it didn't fill it as a solid thing. It did leave those little holes in there. Some things that look like they might have little spaces like this right here and this one right here don't actually. Let's see what happens here when I put that very same fill on there. You see it just filled the entire shape. It didn't, it didn't leave um, different colors. It had, didn't have a, that white space and it didn't have that gray um, color that it did before. In some cases, that might be just fine for you. And in some cases, um, you might need to just pay attention to the fact that not all um, elements have, have spaces. Some of them are just one solid color. So let me give you another example of that, or one solid shape, I mean. So let me give you an example of that. I'm going to come down. I want to find for this pumpkin, I want to find, so these are, sorry, I meant to tell you this. These are my tags. Um, you can tag digital art. You can make up your own tags and tag digital art in um, Artisan, which is very convenient because if I just want to find um, orange paper or if I just want to, I think I'm going to do fall actually, um, fall autumn paper, then anything that I've tagged with that will come up here. Uh, there's another video that I, um, you can find uh, in Artisan Quick Tips about uh, tagging your digital art and how to do it. It's pretty cool. Okay, so let's say that I want to fill this one and I'm going to use this paper. So you can see again, it had it had like this stem was green and everything and it, it didn't keep those little white lines here between. It's treating this particular piece as one shape. So again, that might be just fine with you. Um, depending on what you're doing, right? This one, though, I discovered does have empty spaces in between. So I'm going to fill this selected shape this way. Ta da! So um, that is how you use the fill feature in Artisan. And I think you can do a lot. Like, that's really pretty. I think you can do a lot of. Um, fun and interesting things. And you can make changes. If you've got a red doily and you don't want a red doily, you can kind of tweak it around a little bit, which um, just makes for so many possibilities. I think it's really a cool feature and very fun and makes things um, flexible too. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it's helpful as you preserve your photos and memories with Artisan. Um, if you, if it was helpful and you liked this video, please like it, uh, give it a thumbs up on YouTube because that helps other people find it better. And, uh, if you want to catch more videos about artisan and about photos and memory keeping in general, uh, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. So you see all the new ones that are coming. Thank you.